Hey, Tackle Warehouse, iCast 2012. John Cruz here in the Pinnacle booth. We've, we're adding three Pinnacle Perfecta actions to the Pinnacle Perfecta lineup. Uh, the first one that I'm gonna tell you about is one that I helped them design. It's a seven foot, medium heavy cranking rod. This is the square bill crankbait rod. You know, their square bill crankbait has gotten super, super popular. Everybody's looking for the right rod. Here it is right here. I designed it around the Spro Fat John. Uh, but but it works with with any square bill crankbait that you could uh, you could find out there with that seven foot length it's perfect to still be able to make super accurate cast but that medium heavy parabolic action which is which is kind of hard to find is perfect for that for that little bit bigger bulkier crankbait and you can you can you know horse in three and four pounders I've, I've uh, swung in the boat three and four pounders uh, all year with this uh, with this rod uh, you can fish it on you know 14 17 even 20 pound test. Uh, you know, anytime you're really power fishing with that square bill crankbait, this is the rod you may want to check out. Uh, also, Pinnacle's come out with a spinning rod, which is a seven foot heavy action. This is a super light spinning rod, but it's yet it's got a heavy action. This is a, the, the one that Dave Wolak helped them design. And when they sent me a prototype of it, I actually emailed them back and said, I'm probably not going to even fish with this thing. I, you know, I don't have any applications for a seven foot heavy action rod. And then I went out there and went fishing during the course of the year. And it seemed like every other tournament, I needed a seven foot heavy action spinning rod. So uh, I actually, you know, use this rod quite a bit. Uh, use it anytime I need, you know, fishing little jigs, uh, you know, skipping baits way up under, uh, up under docks, stuff like that, where you, where you need a little more backbone in a rod. This rod is, is really light, but yet it still has a lot of backbone, which is hard to find in, in a spinning rod. And then the final one is the, the umbrella rig rod. You know, the Alabama rig craze has gone, gone nuts. And this is actually the rod that, that Paul Elias was using when he won that uh, won that FLW tournament last fall that kind of kick-started the whole craze. This is a, a 7 foot 11 inch uh, rod, but it's got a moderately fast taper on the end, which is the whole key. It's got that nice nice taper at the end, which uh, allows you to you know, still make fairly accurate casts and you don't rip hooks out, but it's got tons of backbone, so you can throw that chandelier out there and get it out there as far as, far as you want to throw it. And uh, it's a 7 foot 11 inch. Um, umbrella rig ride. So those are the three actions that you can find on TackleWarehouse.com.